Hey guys, Greg with Fun and Sun RV. Good morning, time for another walkabout. This time it's on our Surveyor Luxury 250 FKS, and here she is, check it out. She is a beauty, right there. It's a full fiberglass exterior unit, does have five-sided aluminum superstructure, which is very, very nice, helps keep the weight down, all that good stuff, and a nice molded front cap up over here with a windshield, dark tint windshield. And we'll start our walkabout in the front like we do with all of our units. Uh, as you can see right here in front, we do have a power tongue jack that does have a hitch hookup light as well, right there. Also 20 pound cylinders that are actually the exchangeable ones. So when they run up, you just run and get another one. We do have a nice battery disconnect back in there, as well as a nice caddy for your power cord when you're not traveling so it's up out of the way which is a very very nice feature as well kind of stores are there out of the way we're on the front here and we have a full pass through storage compartment even though it's a front kitchen we still have the full pass through storage which is very very nice full slide out which does encompass the l-shaped sofa dinette combination and over here we're gonna have aluminum wheels with radial tires and the tires are nitrogen filled so they are gonna run cooler when you're traveling down the road right here will be your six gallon DSI ignition hot water heater gas and electric as well as your fresh water fill for filling up your fresh water tank your outside shower so it does give you access to hot and cold running water to the outside which is nice Cable TV and satellite hookup is right there. And then your city water hookup would be right there for hooking up directly at the campground. Right here, they have gone to the marine style plugs now, which are a lot nicer. It helps to keep the mice from getting inside your trailer because they can't climb up and go right inside. It's a marine plug, it's much safer. Keeps the critters out a lot better. All four corners will have stabilizer jacks on them, which is a nice feature then all your exterior lights will be LED, including the overhead lights up there too. And this is a very, very nice feature on all of the Luxury Series surveyors. They do have this flip down rack. All you have to do is pull the pins out. She drops down. So you get a nice rack there for storing bicycles, generators, firewood, whatever. Here's a little rack that flips up for hooking up your bicycles. Very, very nice feature, as well as a ladder so you can get up on top of the roof to do any maintenance. And they're all prepped for a backup camera too, which is a nice touch. On the awning side, we do have two entry doors. One is for the bedroom and the front one is for your access. Again, this is a front kitchen configuration. And we do have a full length power awning on this trailer as well which is really, really nice. And what I do like very much is the fact that all your surveyors put the LED light strip at the end of your roller tube so it lights up the whole area under the awning. Very, very nice. Right here, here's a mom and pop coach that not too many manufacturers do. It actually has an outside kitchen. Flips up and if you'll notice, these have all got magnetic catches on them. So it just holds the door up and out of the way. It is under your awning, which is nice. You have the slide out kitchen area right here. You have your two burner stove top right there, which is nice. As well as your sink for your outside. Nice little bottle opener right there and your beverage cooler right here. Nice little touch there. Again, your front door does have the solid step which flips up into the door area which is much more solid much more safe and then the cool thing too is all of your surveyors are prepped to become a hot spot if you want to too very very nice touch all of our surveyors are pet friendly which means they do come with the little leash catch down here as well as inside the storage compartment they will have little bowls right there for uh, feeding and watering your pet and a real nice structural 
feature on here is they do use Asdale on all your exterior components. And that is a membrane, or that is a, actually a uh, board that goes between your fiberglass and your aluminum stud. The nice thing about the uh, Asdale is that it's waterproof, it's chemically inert, it's a textured product, so it actually does a lot better job at hearing the adhesives to the wall as well as to the fiberglass, so you have a lot less chance of delamination. Very, very nice touch. And right down here will be your uh, solar panel hookup. And that about does it for the outside of the Surveyor Luxury Series 250 FKS. Let's take a check at the inside, shall we? And here we are inside the Surveyor uh, Luxury 250 FKS. And she is a beauty. This is, this is an awesome coach. Check this out. As you can see, we do have a front kitchen configuration with a slide out and a nice access to the bathroom. So you have a walk through bathroom bedroom there. And we will start our walkabout at the front of the coach. Here we go. We have uh, all one piece countertops. They're seamless, so there's no seams to deal with as far as T insert molding for water to get in there cause any problems. That way they're a solid surface style. We do have a nice chest of drawers right here, which are all full length extension drawers and they're wood sided. So we got four of those right here. Very, very nice. And then we have access for pots and pans underneath and a waste basket underneath, which is nice. Up here you're gonna have your sink and it is a full size country style sink with a high rise faucet, metal and sink sprayer attachment. Very, very nice. And then you do have the uh, sink lids because it is an under counter mount sink. And the nice thing with the sink lids is they have one of them as a dish drainer. Very, very nice. And up above on your overhead cupboards, they're all backlit. And the nice thing about having your cupboards backlit is you can see what is inside there. Very, very nice. And they have props to hold the cupboard doors up for you. And you can shut the backlight off if you want to just by turning the switch off. So that's nice. All your overhead cupboards are all backlit. We have a nice stainless steel looking microwave that does include a turntable as well as a power range hood, which has your light and a fan right there. Also, you're gonna have a three burner range with an oven, which is nice. And incidentally, all your knobs are backlit as well as you do have the light inside your oven. Very, very nice feature. And we have this nice flush mount stove cover here too with a knife rack in the back. So you got a safe place to store your knives when you're traveling. This just flips up like so. And then you have cast iron burners, more of a residential style stove that are piezo ignite. All you do is turn the burner on, hit the button, and they light. That's all you gotta do with it. Very, very nice touch there. Moving on down, we do have storage area back here by the door for whatever. And we do have our entertainment center, which does give you a AM, FM, stereo system, Bluetoothable, sound bar, TV, more storage underneath the TV. And incidentally, all of your cabinetry in a Surveyor 2, all the styles and the rails are all actually what they call a wood core. So it's a wrapped pine stock. And these are all pocket screwed together. So like for instance, on this style here, they have four screws holding this whole thing together, the up top and the bottom. So you're actually putting screws into real wood, not into particle board like what a lot of the manufacturers do. And a nice residential touch too is the fact that all your cabinet doors are, you don't see the hinges, they're hidden hinges on there. Just gives you a more residential look. Also you're gonna have a nice area here, which is a closet for hanging up coats. Right next to the entertainment center as well. Across the way, you're gonna have your nine cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator, which is built by Norcold. Nice thing with these is that being they work off 12 volt and not off the gas, is that you have a lot more space inside your refrigerator for storage. So when you're traveling down the road, 
The refrigerator works on your battery. When you go to the campground and plug in, your refrigerator works off 110. Very, very nice touch there. Plus you do have a nice L-shaped sofa with a fold-away dinette table, so you can either have just a couch or you can use it as a dinette as well if you so desire. And this is nice too. You have a nice big storage area underneath one of your sofa seats. Very, very, very nice touch. And now again, above, you have all backlit cabinetry. Again, so you can see what's inside there. Very, very nice touch. Backlit cupboards. All your interior lights are LED. Nice feature as well. And we'll move on to the windows. These do all have room darkening roller shades on here, which I like a lot. And a really nice feature too, is the fact that all of your windows open up for ventilation, where a lot of them just have a blank window right here. So you have very little ventilation there. The room darkening roll shades, I love that. They work so much nicer on there. A nice big pocket door to close off versus a swing door to the bathroom. And because we have a walkthrough bath, which is an unusual configuration, most manufacturers in the 25 footers don't put bathrooms this big in them. This gives you a huge bath with a nice big walk-in shower with a skylight. Plus you do have actual tub surround with shelves. So you got places to put your shampoos, whatnot. So it is a fully functional shower. Nice feature there. A good size bathroom sink area with storage. And again, they're using the seamless countertops here in the bathroom as well. And this is nice too, a nice good size oval sink for washing your hands, toothbrush, whatever. And I love this. You actually have a regular wooden built-in medicine cabinet for all your medicines. Hey guys, good to see you. One of the other nice features I like about the Surveyor 2 is they actually are using different wood tone in the bathroom compared to the rest of the trailer. They have more of the darker, richer color there, a little lighter color wood in the bathroom, and they give you these nice cubbies for extra storage. Plus under your sink, you have plenty of storage as well. All your cabinet doors are hardwood. They are not particle board. Nice feature. And this is cool. They actually put the monitoring system where it needs to be in the bathroom area so you can check your water tank, gray water tanks, black water tanks, everything's done right there. You turn your water pump on here as well as the DSI for your hot water heater. That's all there too. All your plugs, like I say, the one outside and in the bathroom and in the kitchen area will have the GFI ground fault interrupter plugs built in, which is nice if we're about getting hurt. Uh, and this is cool, light switch for the bathroom lights. So even the grandkids or children can actually turn the lights on in the bathroom if they need to use it. This is really, really nice. Huge master bedroom area. Got all these nice overhead cupboards with your shirt wards. And again, hidden hinges, all wood core styles and rails. Big, deep, big storage compartments there. Nightstands on either side of the bed, which is very, very nice, as well as a drawer. That's your nightstand. And then USB charging ports down there, which is a nice feature. This is a residential 60 by 80 queen bed, so they're actually residential length beds on here. And here again, the other side, you have your nightstand with a drawer, his and her shirt wards. Nice feature there. And down here will be your power panel, which includes all your 110 breakers and your 12 volt fuses. And the nice thing is the 12 volt fuse side, if there's a, a fuse at blue, there's a red LED light that turns on, letting you know which fuse blue, so it makes it easier for changing. And again, another USB charging port for your phones, all that good stuff right there. You do have under bed storage, which is very, very nice. It's big and they separate this from the outside so people can't sneak in by way of the cabinetry out, the cupboard outside because all those key locks are pretty much the same. So they do segregate that, which is a nice little feature. And again, in the bedroom, they do have the room darkening pleated shades with a nice valance, solid valance up there. Very, very nice setup. And again, 
Right here is a wall switch so that you can turn your bedroom lights off and on at a touch of a switch, not having to reach up on top. And again, being the LED lights, you get a lot of lights. Like in this bedroom, you have one, two, three, four, five. You have six lights in the bedroom itself. All of your AC is ducted, and they do give you vent in the bedroom as well. And talking about vents, in the bathroom, they do put the high CFM fantastic fan vent right here, which is a three-speed high CFM. The nice feature with that is in most cases, you don't have to run your air conditioning. You just open your windows up, turn that fan on, and it'll transfer the air inside and outside. Very, very nice. So yeah, for a 25-foot travel trailer, it is very, very functional, very, very user-friendly, and all that good stuff. And that about does it for the inside of the Surveyor Luxury uh, 250 FKS. If you have any questions or you'd like to view this coach, please contact Coopersville at 616-837-9768 or you can contact our Ludington location at 231-845-8282 or just visit us on the web at www.fnsrv.com. Again, this is Greg Grossenbacher with Fun and Sun RV and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day and happy camping, guys. Bye-bye.